language is quality time. So Wayne and I have spent the weekend at the Circus Circus in Reno just to get away for a few days and then watch the Super Bowl and people watch. And then they give us this huge booth. And there's my husband. Show us your <laughs> Show us your Les Paul. Show us your Les Paul. So this is how we're spending quality time. We're about 20 feet apart. Anyway, gonna have some breakfast and then we'll really film our love language collab for you. Okay, bye. So a little unconventional to film her first video here in a coffee shop at the Circus Circus. It's just part of it. But we're having quality time. And it's, uh, true. it's true. So that's the love language we picked today was quality time. If you don't know, um, there are five love languages. Quality time, words of affirmation, gifts, uh, 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 touch, and, and acts of service. That's it. So since we actually had a weekend off together, we thought we would have some quality time. Sorry for filming in a very noisy environment in there. Yeah, I hope you could hear us. I hope so too. I haven't checked the footage. <laughs> but, but anyway. It was breakfast. It was breakfast. Okay. It was breakfast. So anyway, quality time. And I realized by listening to Dr. Chapman why that was so important to me as my primary love language. And that's because um, when I was a child, my parents weren't the huggy, feely, say I love you type. I cannot remember a time when my mother said I love you or hugged me. And I know that sounds awful. She's a wonderful lady. She too. is. She's a wonderful lady. Wow. And she says it now, but um, and it's just the way she was raised. Yeah. But the way they showed us that they loved us was through quality time. Every weekend, every weekend, we did something. We went for a drive. Um, we went to go horseback riding. They would take us and our friends horseback riding. We went on family vacations. They spent a lot of quality time with us. So I think that's why it's so important to me and that's how I feel loved. Are those things important to you? Or? Well, you know, they, they are important, and I never had that situation. Um, I, it, it just didn't happen. My dad was military. Um, my mother, uh, after they parted, uh, was single parent, so, boy, that made it tough. But, you know, so finances were tied. I mean, it, it, just, it was a different circumstance for me. But as I see things now, um, I, I love that tradition of going out or... I've instilled in him. Uh, probably so. And I know the kids have gotten on to some of that. There's there's traditions. We had, There was a question about that before. But, but do you consider that... Quality time, Quality yes. time your primary love language? Uh, it means more to me than... Um, than... How... Gifts, sex, should I say that? <laughs> Sorry. See, touch, that's what it means. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because there's, you know, when we, when we took the, the test, the, the touch can mean this, you know, or her head on. Put your head on. I think we're crooked okay. anyway, so, right. but whatever. Yeah. So, but, <laughs> I'm looking you know, at myself now, um, like, we're crooked. You know, know what? Whatever. You, you, let, me, let me just tell you about <laughs> the, the touch love language. I might be sleeping when you leave early in the morning, and when I feel you just put, you know, pat me on my leg, foot, whatever. That's true. Uh, and, you know. Because he'll say, you, you didn't touch my leg this morning. Yeah. And it, it's just that, you know, um, uh, or even even a kiss on the head. I know it's not the nicest head in the world to kiss, but you know, just a little peck on it. Here, give it a peck. Oh, no. Wow, that was nice. See, <laughs> that, but that just kind of says love you, 
it's yeah okay I mean, but we're still working on what his primary love language is I think I've determined mine we're still figuring I mean this is the, the process of this collab is is to work on that and figure out what our love languages are yeah and as we talked this morning there's different I should listen to the book because when you start finding out what's inside and not just on the surface uh, you start finding out ah, yeah that is that is what a what that means I, I, that's my love language that right there it's not this it's not what it seems to be it's this right so anyway you guys we've got another three weeks to go on this collab and we will be discussing a different love language next week throughout the week we haven't determined what that will be yet it'll be a surprise not just to you <laughs> so. Oh yeah. <laughs> but quality time, that's what we're doing this weekend, spending some quality time together. Yeah, and we, you know, it, it comes out that uh, we love to do that, and we have done so much of that at times, but we get so busy. We uh, do, but that's when we look at our best times, our best moments, the times that we laugh the most. Yeah, that's true. Is when we're just spending quality time yeah, together. Yeah, like this. So, Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and we will link the others in the collab below, I think. Melanie, you're putting all this together, so I'm just going with you, girl. But uh, we'll talk to you real soon, okay? Okay. Bye. Go camping. That's quality time. Camping. He wants to camp Unplug now. everything. No Unplug. cell phones. No computers. No video cameras. Ding! Bang!